we don't change, change the way people think Kenya will never change. There's no change that can come to Kenya unless wananchi wenyewe kwanza wa change vile wanafikiria. Kitu ya kwanza, unajua 90% ya wa Kenya wanafikiria walipi tax. Hata ukiingia kwa Kenya hapa ndani ya villages, watu wanasema hiyo pesa inaibiwa ni ya serikali. He wameiba pesa ya serikali. Wanasahau ni pesa yao. Si ya serikali, ni yenu yenye mmepea serikali. Unajua juu wakulima hapa na watu wako kwa villages hawalipi tax direct kwa serikali wanafikiria hawalipi. Yetu huyu akienda na ndudhi yake pale petrol station kufiwe, akiweka mafuta ya mia, 40 bob ni tax. So, hafikiri kwamba amepea serikali pesa. Akienda akinunua 1 kilo of sugar, mia, ni ya serikali. So yeah, only Juanja I pay a direct. I only come and invest. So he can do what he wants. Morara Kebaso is back like he never left and this time round he has gone in another level and he has gone to an extra level of civic education. This time round he was in Muranga County in the areas of Mount Kenya region and he has decided to start sanitizing the project which he had not started and this goes out to roads. For example while he was in this region he decided to talk to the people who were around and was giving them civic education in the best way possible. For example he went ahead to say that most people in the rural villages think that the money which is being embezzled and stolen doesn't belong to them, it belongs to the government, yet they don't know that they pay direct tax indirectly to the government by buying products such as sugar, oil and other things. That's when that's why when these products are increasing prices in the market, it affects them directly. That's one way of the government collecting revenue. So he also told them that even one of the example was the border border guy who was there. He was told that whenever he goes to fuel for every hundred shillings he fuels, Fort Bob belongs to the government. That's how tax works in Kenya, but most people think that this money which is being stolen belongs to the government also. In another area we noticed that most people Will, most people don't know that to change this country they have to change their way of thinking and that's the only way they can influence the coming general election of 2027. It's now very clear that Morara Kebaso will be in the ballot even if the fights have started in the other side which is opposing Ruto where we saw somebody like Masi Tarus trying to start fighting Morara Kebaso directly by saying that Morara Kebaso has stolen a slogan from him. But I think that was very petty from Masitaru. So, a lot is happening. I really urge you to stay tuned to Mora TV because we are going to unearth all these things which are happening and inform you as soon as they arrive to our news desk. Stay tuned.